Good afternoon crafters, we are live and we are here for another look at our special online pick of the day. So we've decided to bring you a few pick of the day shows around a few of our selected products. This pick of the day features our crafter select mini garden safari friends. Now these are just gorgeous. Perhaps you've already got the garden safari collection. The crafter select are die sets that are inspired by you guys. So it's inspired by ideas you've seen, uh, things that you've loved working with, and they're essentially an addition, an extension to collections we already have. So the mini garden friends that you see here, featuring our little hedgehog, our squirrel and our fox, are designed to either work alongside the Garden Safari collection or independently. So you've got a choice there. If I just bring in and show you Garden Friends, so this is the original Garden Friends from the Garden Safari launch, I think back in May, these little creatures um, are where we took the inspiration for our mini version from. So you've got the squirrel, you've got the fox, you've got the hedgehog. These, if you use them in conjunction with the mini ones, could be the parents of the babies. Now it's all very well seeing them in the packets of dyes, but let me just grab a couple so you can see a great size comparison. So here is Delta the Fox with all his decoupage, looking very, very handsome there in all his glory in a vignette form. So this artwork that you see is one of our free downloads available from carnationcrafts.co.uk and that allows you essentially to cut out this beautiful artwork for use with your die. So that's the original, that is Delta the Fox from Garden Friends. Our new one from Crafter Select the mini version, you can see the size difference here, means you can start telling stories with these little creatures. So Delta the Fox mini could be a little fox cub if you do want to add it in to the original. If you haven't got the original one, we have actually got a bundle offer on our website at the moment. It is called the Garden Friends Collection. Uh, if you're looking for the code for that, it is 201254. That's 201254. And we've done that at a special bundle for you. So you can get both the new Crafter Select Mini Garden Friends and the original Garden Friends to make your little family of, of animals there uh, for $34.99, which is just under a five pound saving. So really worthwhile. If you haven't already got Garden Friends or any part of the Garden Safari collection, do consider getting that. Now, if you're just interested in Mini Garden Friends, so our mini little foxes here and uh, squirrels and hedgehogs as well, which are super, super adorable. Great for smaller size cards as well. The code you need for this one is 20114. This particular die set in its own right is priced at $14.99. So really great little addition to Garden Safari there as well. Now we've got lots and lots of people joining us already. I'm going to have a little scroll back through and just see if we've got any questions coming in. Let's have a little look here. Ah, oh, Janine's here from the DT. Hello, Janine. Oh, lots of people loving how cute these are. Yeah, do you know what? I think the storytelling between sort of mummy and baby is is just the cutest. Also, it gives you um, another sort of narrative if you're looking for something a little bit more unusual with mummy and baby cards or first birthday cards or, you know, those sort of things where you want to send to a family, perhaps even if you wanted to, Christmas time. You know, it's around the corner. You want to create something a little bit different. It could be from our family to yours and you could have enough of the foxes or the squirrels or, or whichever one created to resemble the family or represent the family, should I say, that you're gifting your card to. Uh, Pam's here, Diane's here, Carol's here. Hello, lovelies. Oh, fabulous. Lots and lots of people joining us as well. June is in Glasgow at the moment. And Lee as well. Christine's here too. Lots and lots of people tuning in. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, just as a little aside, I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway, because you know what I'm like on Facebook Lives. If you did want to go for Crafter Select or the Garden Friends Collection bundle, there is a discount code available. Now, I'm probably not meant to say this, but let's go for it anyway, okay? So if you wanted to save an extra 10% off Garden Friends or Mini Garden Friends, you just need to enter the code NOV10, so November 10, NOV10 at point of checkout for an extra 10% off your order. So you're saving even more if you did go for that bundle collection. Now, one thing I must note, because I've just checked the levels before I've come live, 
if you fancied a little splurge and you love the look of the die cuts we've been using, you love the look of the cards. I mean, let me just show you some. These are gorgeous. Here we go. I mean, this is beautiful, but here we have Garden Friends to the center. So the mini version of Garden Friends, the Crafter Select die. Then all these additional dies. You've got pots and cracks here. You've got wild blooms here. You've got the grounding device here from the little um, IDQ set too. Lots and lots of additional dies. Perhaps you like something like this where you do have the larger size fox and hedgehog. So you've got almost like little friends, perhaps that, well, essentially would be the school gates for the animals. I don't know what you'd call that. <laughs> but they could be dropping off their little animal babies from Crafter Select Mini Garden Friends there. Now this die set, you've got the outer card shape, which is called Into the Garden. And that not only includes the card shape, but it has these little gates as well to begin telling that story, to add in to the narrative you want to give. Garden Safari is the collection that launched back in May where we've taken our inspiration from. Let me just grab another one. Oh, this is fabulous. Here they are, all three of them hiding out Again, creating that story on the front of your card. You've got the little hedgehog here tucked behind the trailing leaves. You've then got the little fox sitting proud off to one side. Again, you've got that gate combination. You've got a few of the pots in the background. You've got the squirrel sitting on the fence. If you too want to be creating the whole look, you will need the Garden Safari collection. Now, as I just said, we did check before we came live. It is super limited, which I hate saying because I don't want anyone to miss out. So if you haven't got Garden Safari and it's something you're thinking of adding into your collection, do consider it because we are down to limited numbers on Garden Safari in its own right. Okay, let's see if we've got any questions coming in. Carol here, for example. Garden Safari was the first collection I brought and it started my addiction. I know, and it's one of those collections, Carol, isn't it, that you can keep coming back to, you can keep enjoying and finding new ways of designing with them too. Ah, oh, mum's here. Hello, mum. <laughs> That's really sweet. Uh, Karen's here too. Uh, let me just scroll back. Pam's here. She is watching uh, Pam's from the DT. I think we've got some samples made by Pam for these beautiful collections as well. Um, Sandra says, thanks for your reminder. Oh yeah, okay, that's a really good point, Sandra. Um, thanks for bringing that up. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hoping to give you even more of these picks of the day. So we're gonna be bringing you even more of our favorite selections from the website with some demonstrations, with a few little key tips and tricks and things like that. We will put up on our brand page, which is what you're viewing this um, video on at the moment, an event. So if you want a reminder of when these uh, picks of the day go live or when the Facebook lives go, go live, for example, you can go into the events and register your interest and you should get a notification each time we go live. So we've had lots and lots of feedback saying people really enjoy uh, interacting and getting the, the demonstrations and things. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's really worthwhile just signing up for the notifications as well. If you want to see more of them, do consider signing up to the newsletter as well, because we will try and post in advance dates and things there as well. Uh, I can see a question coming in here. Rachel asks, Hannah, can I ask, the, would the larger animals be about the same size as the animals in Bundle of Joy, or would I be better off getting the smaller animals to fit in with the size of the animals in Bundles of Joy? That's a really good question. So Bundles of Joy, uh, Rachel um, has asked, is our new baby collection. And I would say, if you want it to be um, animals of the same age, I know that, bear with me, <laughs> it will make sense when I finish the explanation. Uh, animals of the same age, I would suggest going for the original garden friends because they're gonna be more in keeping with the larger sizes of the bear and the elephant and the giraffe from Bundles of Joy. If you want to get the look of them then having baby animals with them, it's mini garden friends that you need. Uh, what number is Garden Safari? So Garden Safari, I do not have a code for, but if you go onto the website and type in Garden Safari, it will bring up the dies associated with that and you can search by collection. So if you click on shop, followed by selection, uh, collection even, you can then scroll through and find Garden Safari in there. If you're looking for the code for Garden Friends, which is our bigger die set, the original, Delta, Ash and Sandy in their lovely larger size and the bundle that then includes the mini version. The code you need is 201254. Let's have a look at some more cards, shall we? 
This one I love. This is great because this is, again, telling that little story. This is made by Lavinia, so thank you, Lavinia. And again, we've got that gate in the background. You see how you can really start building a whole design around this gate concept. This is the Into the Garden card shape um, that creates the background and has the gates in and the trellis that you see here as well. All of the artwork that you see is a free download available from carnationcrafts.co.uk. And actually, what I'll be using in this demonstration is the brand new colorway for mini garden friends that launched this morning as part of our freebie friday so if you have missed the freebie friday email and you want to sign up for exclusive offers do consider tuning at uh, right <laughs> typing in www.carnationcrafts.co.uk forward slash newsletter sign up for our newsletter and you will have um special deals and events and things uh, added to your inbox as well so when we're downloading our artwork, every single one of our dies comes with a free download. Every one of the creatures, every one of the arts, the frames and things, sometimes do, sometimes don't, but we will do tell that in uh, on the shows and things like that. Mini Garden Friends on the newsletter this morning, Freebie Friday, we launched the new colourway. So this is to match in with Equinox Blooms, one of our autumnal collections that launched on Create and Craft um, maybe about a month ago. It is available on our website. So if I just bring in, for example, the original colorway of our beautiful little Delta Fox here, more of an orangey colorway for this one, that matches in with the original Garden Safari collection. We then have this brand new colorway, again, free to download from our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. To access any of your vignettes, you just go to carnationcrafts.co.uk, click on downloads, followed by free downloads, and you can search by collection. So you can also type in Mini Garden Friends and it will bring up everything available for Mini Garden Friends, including those vignettes. You just pop those vignettes into your basket, follow it through checkout and a download link will pop up allowing you to download these. Now these, if you do create an account with us, are always available at any time to print off as many times as you like. You see here, this is a mirrored version. Uh, it's one of the one of the really key things that we did as a team designing head of design nick came up with this amazing concept whereby all you need to do to have the beautiful front color of your design also on the reverse of your die cut is fold along your black line on your vignettes hold on come here then wolfie cat <laughs> he has to get involved in these he likes crafting too um what I'd always recommend if you are printing off your vignettes, please do consider the pro printing paper. For the mirrored vignettes, we recommend 120 GSM. So it's a lighter weight because when you fold it in half, it will double the weight. When you're printing, print off on high quality print settings as well as your matte photo paper because that instructs the printer the type of paper you're using. And then also, what was the other thing I need to tell you? Ah, actual size. So if you're printing your vignettes, select actual size to make sure they are the same size as your die sets. All you need to do then is lay your dies over the top, run it through your die cutting machine, and you too can be using the same beautiful artwork in all of your designs. Uh, da -da -da. Carol's enjoying the fact you can view these videos and watch them back. Yes, well, as we've always said, this is something we want to bring you more and more of uh, live videos. So do let us know what you'd like to see. Do let us know what you'd like to see on the pick of the days as well. We are going to be bringing you lots and lots more of them as far as we can. Um, Bundles of joy. Sonia says she's just received hers and she's really, really enjoying it. That's fabulous. That's so lovely to hear. Uh, Rachel says thank you very much she is investing that's fabulous I think you're gonna have so much fun ah there we go so Pam has put up a link to Garden Safari thank you Pam that's very helpful for anyone that's interested I will obviously put up links after the live as well so you can easily find the dies you want to use to recreate these designs that we're going to do in just a moment when we come to the demonstration uh, da -da -da. Let's just scroll back through. Oh, Jan's here again. Jane's watching as well. So that's a little overview of our Crafter Select. So a special die collection only available on the website. So it's not seen anywhere else. It's not seen on Create and Craft or anywhere else. It's just available on carnationcrafts.co.uk. And should we take a little look at ways of using this? So the earlier video, you saw us working with the uh, Garden Safari collection. I'm sorry, I'm very close to the camera. I do appreciate that. <laughs> 
just adjusting my desk here. So, um, yeah, the earlier video we were working with, the Garden Safari, the original colourway. For this collection, we will be doing um, Equinox Bloom, so more of an autumnal colourway. What I'd like to do, I think this will be a little bit of fun, we have a Facebook group as well called Carnation Crafters. Again, you can type that into your search bar in Facebook and it should come up, Carnation Crafters. How about we do a little competition on the Mini Garden Friends? How about let's do, upload your posts to our Facebook, pay, uh, Facebook group, I should say, using your Crafter Select. So if you've got already got Crafter Select Mini Garden Friends and you want to do some crafting along with us this afternoon, do upload your posts, uh, tag them with Crafter Select, hashtag Crafter Select in the Facebook group, and we will choose one lucky winner to win five pounds credit to their Carnation Crafts account. Let's say the competition, um, blah, 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 Let's run it from Friday to Friday. So you've got seven days to uh, add in your design to the competition. I will put full details up after the live as well. And then we'll choose a winner. I think it's a little bit of fun. Let's share some inspiration using our Crafter Select dice. Louise has just asked, after cutting the mirror vignettes, do you need to glue them? It depends on how you're working with them, Louise. What well, I suggest, you'll see uh, mine that I've put down somewhere safe. Ah, there. Mine, what I do is I fold first, so fold exactly along that black line. That is key. That's what makes the magic happen. Then I use a little bit of spray adhesive if I'm going to be really working them, like putting a lot of texture and things like that into them. So a little bit of spray adhesive just to keep the two sides together. If I'm not going to be using them to do lots of texture and things like that, then I just don't worry about the spray adhesive because the matte paper will stick to itself. But yeah, spray adhesive or tape runner or a little bit of white glue. Our decoupage, super decoupage glue is quite good for that as well. Okay, let's have a scroll back, make sure I'm not missing any of the questions. Trudy's here as well, as well as Claire. Claire says hello to Morph as well. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> right, let's swing this camera around and let's have a little play, shall we? So this is my little work area and we are going to be working with our mini garden friends. We're going to build building a whole little world for these beautiful creatures to live in. I'm not going to be pairing them with garden friends. I'm going to do that in this afternoon's demo, I think. Let's just go with garden friends in their own right. So again, we will be using um, Equinox Blooms uh, colorways for this particular collection to give it a little bit more of an autumnal feel. So we've got an 8x8 card blank. So it's white, nice strong card blank there, ready to go. Let me just move my little friends up there my little squirrel as well uh da, da, da. let's just pop him just to one side as well because i might use him in part of the demonstration okay so eight by eight card blank there ready to go okay we're also going to be introducing our perfect papers so this is as i have already mentioned the equinox blooms Perfect Papers. Now, if you're not familiar with Perfect Papers, they do exactly what the name would suggest. They perfectly match the artwork. So the colours used within the artwork, used within those vignettes, they're all perfectly matched to work alongside one another. So we've got in the background this wonderful sort of golden colour of the Perfect Papers, and then this beautifully patterned paper from the fr another free download of the Equinox Blooms backing papers as well. So we're simply going to stick that into place using finger lift tape. So it's a nice flat addition of our mats and layers in the background of this card. We're then going to start building up this whole scene. So we're going to have, we're going to just sort of draw the attention into the start and the middle of the card shape here by using again another one of our perfect papers from Equinox Blooms. This one has more of like a butterscotch sort of creamy colour, which is just divine. Again, you can already see really warm tones in these. We've cut an aperture to the centre just from using our circular nested dies and on the back we have got foam tape so I've doubled it up actually I've tripled it up so this is three mil high and then we've used just a couple of little struts here just to lift the end the bottom of the card you'll notice whenever I do um, demonstrations with apertures I don't centralize them reason being is 
quite often it's really, really hard to centralise an aperture unless you are measuring. But also it gives you just a little bit more of a base at the bottom to build more of your story around. So in the background of this one, I want to introduce the trellis. Now this trellis is available within the Into the Garden die set from Garden Safari. So from the main collection, the card shape and trellis design, just adding in a little bit of detail. Really morph? Because that's not going to be helpful for the, for the demonstration, is it? <laughs> Come out of the way, you. Um, you'll see it's just poking over the top of the edge of my card. So I just want to trim that down. Remember, there's no hard and fast rules with die cutting. Sorry about Morph's ear. Can you please sit down nicely and quietly? Thank you. You can change these up as much as you like. Once you've got them home, they are yours to play with. They are yours to adjust. They are yours to have a little bit of fun and snippability into. So we've printed off that die cut. We've cut it out and we can already start manipulating it to change the look and change the design. So that little trellis is going to add into our background like so. Morphe, please be a good boy. <laughs> um, what we're also going to do is then add in the uh, leaves to the background. So the trailing uh, look from the wild blooms. It just breaks up the pattern and just gives you this sense of more of a reality going on with the design. So let's see about sticking this in place. What I might actually do is take off the, the um, what would you call it, the carrier from this side of the foam and use that to just nestle in. Now you see what I'm doing? We're getting that curve of the trellis central to the curve of the aperture there as well. So that's gonna position our design beautifully. <laughs> Carol saying Morph's definitely part of the team. He would definitely like to think so, Carol, wouldn't he? Bless him. <laughs> I think he's gone off to have a little play. I think he's probably biting something he shouldn't be biting as well. But he's fine. We do have these fun with our, with our little creatures, don't we? Okay, so all the way around, just folding the carrier sheet of our foam over, like so. Peeling this one back and doing it like so. Now, the reason we do this is when we come to lay in our design, we can get everything nice and central. Before I commit to stick, I do want to include my ivy as well. I want something running up that trellis because looking at it, it's just a little bit plain. So as you've seen us do before, we're just going to tweak these leaves. We're going to give them a little bit of adjustment. We're going to take our poke tool and run them over the edge of our poke tool to shape and sculpt the paper. So it gives you this very, very beautiful, realistic look to our leaves. Now you'll see... For our demonstration, I'm using the mirrored vignettes. These are key because this means I can really go to town on sculpting and giving life and direction, and just sort of squidging in that vignette without the worry that a white area on the reverse is going to detract any attention from the front. So again, I'm just going to layer that up. I'm going to snip down just slightly, like so. That little bit can go in my pot for another day. And for this one, let's have a little bit of white glue. Let's attach that to our trellis with some of our super clear decoupage glue. This is fabulous. This has a really lovely stronghold to it, but it just means we can get into areas nice and evenly along the length of that vine to hold our paper in place. So just tweaking that back, inserting our vine like so oh come on vine and letting that grow up the edge of the trellis there so you're building this story i'm just going to snip that top leaf away as well as the next one so this is this is the fun as you go you can adjust you can go in and change things up so that's giving us a really lovely background onto which we can start building. So we're just going to centralise that on the page, on the card front, and peel away the foam tape carrier just to stick that in place. I think I've missed that edge. Let me just peel that away as well. 
nice and secure. So you've got this wonderful sense of the uh, texture in the background, trying to escape through it aperture, giving you this wonderful wild quality to the card front. Now our little friends are gonna feature in the center of that aperture, but we want to build a world for them around it first. So let's grab a few die cuts. Remember, these are our vignettes. They are printed from our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk for free. What we've done for this autumnal look, for this little bit of added interest, we've gifted you yet another set of vignettes. So these ones in the background from Garden Safari, we've taken from the Equinox Blooms download. So the free download available on the Equinox Blooms collection, you'll find it there. And then I've just added in the front here, just a couple of other die sets from the Equinox Blooms collection to build in this story, to add in this story of autumn. These are the Hedgerow Harvest, and also season decor. So hedgerow harvest features a few little autumnal leaves and details and the autumn, uh, sorry, the season decor with the pumpkins there. You'll notice every time I come to make a card, I will always lay that card out first. We will always, always test where we want things sitting before we come to commit. So cracks and pots, absolutely gorgeous. It gives you this wonderful long line to the look of your card. Available, remember, as part of that limited limited quantity, limited availability on that garden safari collection. And you get those two colorways, the original colorway that you've seen used in the first demonstration, and also this new colorway part of Equinox Blooms. Again, giving it a little bit of shape when we come to stick using our pin flare glue gel. Same thing with our earth. We're gonna use this as we did in the first demonstration as a grounding device. So it sets the scene, it gives you a base on which everything else comes out of. That over the edge, perhaps we want the little pot over the top, just nestling in like so. So you can change your mind, you can add things, you can develop the design as well. Let's just see if we've got any questions coming in. No, it looks all good, looks like I'm uh -huh, trying to answer things as we go along. Okay, so leaves and flowers as well. Again, part of the Garden Safari collection. This is Wild Bloom. So this little collection here contains the florals that you see. And it also has the uh, beautiful uh, leaves there, the vine, if you like, as well. And all we're doing is just building these up. Remember, it's so much fun to layer up your designs, to really make it look like You've got this wonderful sense of the wild, of nature coming to fruition, coming into detail here. We're going to have pumpkins because I think pumpkins are fabulous. Maybe. Let's have a big one. Why not? Let's go to town. So this is, again, a little nod to autumn. This is from Seas, uh, Season Decor, part of the Equinox Blooms range. And because you've got that wonderful cutaway quality to that pumpkin, you can see the background. You can still see the cracks and pots die cut behind. Just grounding it, just adding in a little bit more balance using the smaller pumpkin from that same set as well. And just layering it over one another to tell this story. Like so. Perhaps we want a few little autumn leaves as well. We can certainly use these from a hedgerow harvest. But you see how each one of the collections, each one that we bring you, really does lend itself to one another. So yes, we're using elements from another collection here. Yes, we're using Equinox Blooms. But it works so well with that Garden Safari collection as well. So we're just tweaking up that leaf, giving it a little bit of shape, almost giving it a little bit of crumpling as well. So it looks like it's uh, weather-worn, if you like. Someone's stepped in the leaf on their crisp autumn morning walks. And this time around, let's just add in a little bit of orange behind those blooms there as well. So you're balancing the orange either side. Now, again, we're tucking it in. It doesn't matter if it goes over the edge. It gives it more realistic and real feel. Same with the other leaf. Just twisting and turning that up as well as we come to tuck that one in too. Building up your layers gives you this wild, wild sense. It gives you this wild, um, rustic look, if you look, if you like, to the fronts of your designs, to your uh, die-cut elements there. Big old acorn. So this could even be part of the story as well. So perhaps 
Ash, our squirrel from Mini Garden Friends, has got his eye on this acorn because we know how squirrels do love to bury their acorns there as well. Now, piece de resistance, it's what we've all been waiting for. It's what this whole card has been built around, our beautiful little mini garden friends. Now these are fabulous. These are going to be our centerpiece. These are what's going to bring the life to the card and that wonderful sort of quirky sense of character there as well. Each one we're just going to round off with our pokey tool, the back of our pokey tool. You can use a ball tool if you prefer. And then we're just sort of tweaking the heads and the bodies to make them nice and full and plump, especially our little hedgehog here. Sandy the hedgehog is just glorious. Now this design is going to work so well with the three of them in the center. You could just as easily have Delta the Fox from the original collection to the center but he would have to be on his own so you're not overwhelming the card. By having the smaller ones you can have the whole gang. You can have all three just sitting in their little aperture. Now we're going to go in size order I think so let's start in the middle with Delta our Fox. Again remember Rather than the original colourway, this one features that brand new colourway for Equinox Blooms in these rich autumnal tones. Little squirrel, little squirrel, Ash the squirrel, gorgeous as always. Again, giving you that height, giving that dimension in. And we're just going to tease back our layers and pop our little squirrel in there. So just deciding whether he's going to sit in front of the fox or behind the fox, just tweaking the things that we've got in place already, just to give him a little bit of breathing space as well. Perhaps we want to snip off. Again, you've got options here. That little vine, just so his little face isn't covered as well. I think that's adorable. And then Sandy, our squirrel. I do have to admit, I think he's possibly my favourite. He's got so much character. Or she, who could be either or. And he's going to be off to one side as well. So you've got this wonderful sense that you've got the whole gang there. You've got the whole sort of friendly environment. Now, it could be you and two of your friends. You know, perhaps you're missing someone. You want to send them a little card. Perhaps you've got someone who just loves animals. I think being able to build a story around a design like this is just fabulous. A few little fl flourishes, a few little finishing touches to add in to the design here. So let's go with... Here we go. Our little elements from Garden Glimmers. Now, again, these are little creatures. These add into the look. Now, I have taken, again, the colourways from Equinox Blooms. Let me just, as we did before, with that moth from Garden Glimmers, I'm just tweaking up the wings and then just turning them over. Remember, because of those vignettes, that beautiful mirrored vignette, you've got the reverse coloured as well. So you're not going to detract any attention from the card, everything's going to work beautifully. We need to balance this side of the card where the leaves are spilling over the frame. Let's have the moth escaping up over the top of the card there as well. Our oh, beautiful, our oh, beautiful snow. He's just gorgeous. His little face, he's so smiley, it's just adorable. Rounding his shell as well. A little bit of pin flare or foam pads if you prefer. And we're just going to pop him in front of those floors. So you do see you've got then this sort of triangle forming of the creatures around the card. Having that at the base of the floors just nestles all of them together. It makes that little area then work and in harmony. Our final one. Uh, where are my tweezers? I have no idea. Let's just do it with our fingers. Again, with our super clear decoupage glue. Just a little bit on the back. This is going to then snap the perspective right into the design. So have your little ladybird from Garden Glimmers, from the Garden Safari collection, traversing the side of your aperture. Now you can see those animals look further back. Because obviously you've got a, a large ladybird at the top here. Obviously this area is much more forward in the design. It pushes the background right back there as well. And how about that? For a really fun autumn card, layered up, you've got details on there, you've got the perspective on there, you've got a lot of fun on there, and also that decoupage as well, really giving a beautiful little home to our mini garden friends, just to the centre in their Equinox Blooms colourway. How about that for a little card design? So let me just swing that camera around. Oh, that's very close. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Here is the finished card. Sometimes it's easier to see 
when we're looking at the front of the design. So you're telling that story, you're giving those little creatures a little world to live in, a little story around them as well. Really sweet, could be for any occasion, it could just be for someone who loves animals to pick up their day. Really lovely how these dies work together in conjunction. Remember what we've used here is a few elements from the Equinox blooms and then the detail given is from the Garden Safari collection. Of course the star of the show is indeed our Crafter Select Mini Garden Friends die set there as well. Remember we have got a special offer on at the moment so you can get just Mini Garden Friends that is priced at $14.99. Uh, product code for that one is 201114 so 20114.00. $14.99. If you did want the larger version as well, we have got that as a bundle offer, uh, $34.99, saving you £5. That collection is 201254 on our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, but don't forget, sneaky little tip, pop that discount code NOV10, N-O-V-1-0, into your checkout to receive a further 10% off your order today as well. Okay, guys, so... We have got one final show for Pick of the Day, Crafter Select, Mini Garden Friends. It will be live on our Facebook page, where are you reviewing this one, at 5pm this evening. And this evening, I'll give you a little sneak peek of to -do, do this one, so it's all bagged, ready to go. We will be working with both the bigger Garden Friends, the original Garden Friends, and the minis and doing like almost like a little mummy and baby card because I just think it's adorable and we'll be working in the classic colorways for Garden Safari. Don't forget if you do want to enter our competition upload your makes using mini crafters uh, crafter select mini garden friends die set on our Facebook group Carnation Crafters and one lucky person will be chosen at random if you hashtag your uh, entry with the hashtag crafter select uh, I will put all the details up on the comments on this video after the live and of course do do pop your um, entries up and you could, could be in a chance with winning a £5 credit to your Carnation Craft account to spend with us on our website. Hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you'll be joining us at five o'clock for the last look of the Mini Garden Friends die set. See you later guys, bye!